Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these beautiful double exposures using a photograph of a mountain seen with some lakes and a photograph of a face. We're going to be using layer masks to do this with and I'm going to talk you through step by step all you need to do to create one of these really cool effects. They're very popular, lots of tutorials on YouTube already but I thought I'd add one of my own to the mix. Okay. To start with, you will need a photograph of a face. Here's a photograph of a face. And you can see it's got this um, blue sky background, which we'll be removing in a minute. And we also need a photograph of the landscape. So I will show you how to place that first. So we go to File, Place Embedded. We click on Place Embedded. We find our picture of our landscape and click Place. It will then put it on top of it in the middle we can move it where we want to put it and we can press enter. Once we pressed enter, it will then become a layer that we can then work on. You'll see this little square in the corner here. We need to rasterize our layer before we can do anything. So once we have done that, you can see that we now have a layer that we can edit. Now, in order to create the effect we have here, you'll notice there's another layer that I haven't put in yet, which is the bottom layer, which is a nice subtle gradient layer so i'll show you how to do that first so over here we're going to click the plus button in the corner we're going to make a new layer and we're going to drag that layer to the bottom of the pile so that it is at the very base and i'll close the eyes on these two layers so you can see we're now working on the base layer you'll know which layer you're working on in photoshop because it goes light gray over here you'll see the paint bucket tool or you might see the gradient tool if you see the gradient tool Click on it and then you need to select a nice greyish colour here. Click OK and you can see I've got a grey and white effect here. Then using the gradient tool I'm going to draw a diagonal line from the top to the bottom to create my gradient effect. And you can see it's very subtle greys into whites like so. Then I'm going to open up the picture of the face again. Now we need to make the picture black and white first of all, so we'll go to Image, Adjustments and Black and White here and you'll see that the colour will disappear from the image if I'm on the right layer. And you can see how easy it is to get the wrong layer, so we go to Image, Adjustments and Black and White and you'll see all the colour drain away from the picture. Now we need to select the face shape here, we could use the select tools here, the quick select tool would work. We could draw it with the lasso tool, but we're going to use the subject select tool today. So we're going to click on subject. And you can see that it's selecting the subject. Now I don't want this part of the face over here, so I'm going to go to the quick select tool, select minus, and then click on here until I get rid of the bits that I don't want here. So I've got a nice smooth edge and if I get too much I can use the plus to bring a bit more back in like so that's exactly what I want there now we could copy and paste this onto a new layer but today we're going to use a layer mask so once we've selected the area that we want to crop out we click on the add a layer mask button here and you'll see that instantly it removes all the background and leaves us with a nice cut out edge now we want to go to our layer with the landscape on and we want to change the opacity so we can see exactly where it's going to go. We use the move tool and we can move it around. I wanted to keep this part here in line with the shadow of the chin and I want to make it a bit bigger so I'm going to drag it up more. I'm going to line the eye up with the mountain range and make it so that it works really nicely with where we are going to put the image approximately there, I think, is quite good. Then we change the opacity back to 100%, and you can see where it will line up here. Now we want a nice faded edge, so to do that we're going to click on the layer mask on this layer. We're going to see that it's now highlighted into a box. And we are going to use the eraser to 
erase parts of our image. Now with the erase, we want it on soft round. We want it fairly big, but not huge. So probably about 500 would do. And then we can start erasing. And you will see nothing is happening. So we use the paintbrush. We switch over to our black and then we'll start to erase and you'll see immediately it starts to paint black in the layer mask which then creates a hole so that we can use it so you see how it's different to using the eraser in fact i'm going to make it the a bit smaller so we've got more definition we're going to get the eye bring in some of the cheek and the mouth and make it a bit, little bit bigger like so and we're going to bring back this edge so that we've got the neckline coming in now the great thing about using a layer mask is if we make a mistake we can um, switch the colors over and then paint back and you can see that it will come back exactly as it was which is quite cool so get rid of that bit <clears throat> we then want to use some of the layer mask along here to blend the edge out make sure we're on the right way around and then we can start to create our double exposure effect image and then we will then be able to experiment with our brightness and contrast so we'll go to our image adjustments brightness contrast and we can make it lighter a bit more contrast or less contrast and click OK and then you can see we are creating our double exposure image so if we go back to the original one you can see again we've got different lining up areas so we could just look at where the clouds and the hairline is make sure on the right one to add or remove so we can bring some more of the clouds back across here make this a little bit bigger And we can also go on to this layer, and if we just wanted to remove that little bit of hair there, we could go to our black brush and just start fading out, make sure on the right layer. So we click on to here and then start to fade out some of that as well like so so you can see we could lose the hair if we wanted to or we could bring it back if we weren't sure now the great thing about photoshop is obviously you can go edit undo and edit undo and it goes back to where it was before and i think i actually prefer it like that so there you are there's our double exposure using the layer mask you can see there are three layers, layer mask in each one, and hopefully that's really straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, obviously leave it in the comment section below, and thank you for watching another one of Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorials. If you enjoyed watching them, be sure to come over and hit that subscribe button. Okay, thanks for watching, and have a good day. Goodbye.